Hello and welcome back. So in this uh, particular project, we're going to be exploring links, and we're going to do some, some very simple getting started, um, but an opportunity for us to explore some of the uh, the basic coding and um, the layout of our of the project play, uh, space. So uh, again, we've already logged in, and I'm going to go ahead and create a new project. So, uh, just as a reminder, um, we always want to go ahead and, and create a, a name for it. So, in this one, we're going to, um, you know, we're going to talk about shapes, I guess, would be a good good start. But, you know, geometry, uh, intro to geometry is, is an opportunity as well. And I'm just going to go ahead and save it right, right away. And again, um, so we've got here on the left-hand side is our uh, sort of menu um, that we will need to, uh, throughout the, the project. We've got here our procedures pane. So this is where after we've explored in our command center um, and, and found uh, a good piece of code, we can go ahead and create a procedure so that we can, can save that for later. And then here is where the turtle is hanging out and, and drawing for us and helping us do things in this particular project. If we had different types of projects, then we would have uh, different uh, little animations or whatever happening. So in this, we're, what we're going to do in this, this uh, project to start off with is we're going to uh, change our backdrop or our background here uh, to a different color. So I'm going to go set BG. And uh, I'm just going to change it to maybe a light blue. And so sky, I know, is a light blue um, and great to, to get started. So in terms of the colors that are out there um, that are available, there I would invite you to explore just trying out some basic ones. And then also, if you're not sure on the on the all of the options um, I would definitely suggest you having a look at what they um, have within the um, within the documentation of the uh, of the coding language so our next little bit that we're gonna do is we're gonna sort of uh, make a little frame where we're gonna have our different shapes and that sort of thing so it's nicely laid out um, for us and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna create that uh, frame we're gonna go ahead and create that frame so we're gonna set our position so set pause and here set pause is actually based on the location of the turtle and so if we right click on the turtle right now uh, we can see that the name of it is t1 we can see the x core or the x coordinate is zero and the y coordinate is zero and then there's a few other things we have on, down here so i'm just going to click cancel but just to know that we have our x and our y coordinates so our x is sort of along our horizontal here and our Y is up and down. So we're going to go ahead and I think we're going to put it down sort of where we're going to do a nice little border around here. Let's start with a nice border. And so we're going to go ahead and I know that it's down in this area. So it's going to be a minus something. So let's just try minus 300 to start. And then uh, I know that I'm also going to go minus as well for the y direction. So let's go maybe minus 150. And then I put a square bracket and then just put it down there. That looks good. Um, maybe we'll put a little bit up because I might have some buttons just below that. So let's do minus 130. Yeah, let's start with that one. See what happens. And then what I want to do is I'm going to trace sort of a frame here. And so that frame is going to be um, a shape that has two shorter sides and two longer sides. So it's a rectangle. And so I'm going to go ahead and um, put the pen down. So that's PD or pen down. So I'm going to start drawing now. And then I can also set the pen uh, size. So if we go set pen size, and so yep, yeah, you can start typing and just click it and then maybe let's start with five again you know I'm not sure if that's a good good size but let's try it anyway 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go forward um, approximately, I, I don't know, what, what would good be a good length. Let's try with 300. That seems good. And then we're going to turn right. So uh, I can type in right 90. And then I know I want to go forward again, but more than more than 300. So this distance was 300. I probably want to go to about here, a little bit farther. Or I again, I can sort of explore these numbers and and you know if they don't work out nicely for me. So let maybe let's go twice as far. So we're going to go forward 600, and then we're going to go right. 90 forward now I went up 300 so I'm going to go down 300 and so I'm going to go down 300 right 90 and then forward 600 so there's my little um, frame to start off with now what I can do is I can there's a few things that I can do here is Number one, I can go ahead and put some of these. This is sort of a, a repetition twice, right? So I've got forward, right, forward, right, and then forward, right, forward, and then I haven't turned right again, so I'm facing up, so maybe let's do that. And so this is a, a repetition. So I can go ahead and I can, I'm sort of, I can sort of create uh, a, a frame here, and so a procedure for a frame. So I'm going to say two frame and now I'm going to tell it a few different things so number one is well I told it to sort of set go to a specific spot and then do the pen down and so I can take I can essentially take all of this and I'm just going to copy and paste it into here I'm going to move these over now this whole section here uh, these sort of these four lines and these four lines are repeating. And so what I can do is I can go ahead and repeat them. So I'm going to go repeat two, and then I'm going to tell it to go forward, right, forward, right, and then I can delete all this. And then I'll put a square bracket. And then to end off, I'm going to do end. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come down here, I'm going to delete all of this, and I'm going to use CG, so that clear graphics, and it makes my turtle go back to home. And so now what I can do is I can type out frame, and it will do that. Now, uh-oh, I have an error. So I see that when I do that frame, I was starting in the middle here, and then I went over there. So I don't want to do that. I want to have it so that my pen is up at some point and after I do pen up and pen down I want to make sure that I'm I I have my pen up and pen down um, during my session or during each one of these um, procedures and so I have a pen up down here I want to also have a pen up here uh, sorry pen up all right so I'm gonna go ahead and do a clear graphic do a frame Oh, right, but I want to make sure that the pen is up before I move ahead. So I'm going to go pen up, clear graphic, then do the frame. There we go. So it looks good. Actually, I think I might make it a little bit wider. And so the nice thing about this is I can just modify these numbers here. So maybe 380 and let's say 120. And then this distance, let's go a little bit farther up. Um, and then a bunch more on the width because I moved myself over and so we can probably go a little bit farther. Let's try these ones and then, yeah. And then what we can do is let's, let's so we're going to go clear graphics. And we should, now that we've run frame once, we should have, the pen should be up. So if we do frame... That's what our frame looks like now. So it's a little bit wider than before. And then there we go. So it looks good. I'm 
I like what we have so far. So, um, great. So let's go ahead and now we can add in some, um, sort of break this up into little boxes so that we can start putting some of our shapes in here. And so I can go ahead and, and start exploring with, you know, where I would like to, to set these um, vertical lines. And so we're going to do three vertical lines. So we're going to go ahead and draw four shapes. Um, one, two, three, four, and then I'm going to have some vertical lines in here. So let's go ahead and explore some, some of these numbers with my vertical lines. So I know that I'm about 380 this way and about, um, so if I, and then about 380 this way, uh, if my, my math works out properly. So about half of 380 is about 190 if I'm correct so let's just figure that out um, and then this line right here is 120 so I'm gonna go ahead and stay on that line so there we are and now I just want to drive or go forward all the way to the top here and forward is um, 310 so I'm gonna go FD or uh, I can drive forward 310 but I don't have my pen down. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go backwards. I can either go backwards um, or I can set the position again, do a pen down, now move forward. There you go. So that looks nice. So what I can do here is within my frame, I can also use this part right here right so I have the the pen up then I want to jump over to this location I'm gonna put my pen down and then I'm gonna go forward and then I'm gonna do a, another pen up there we go so that's the first vertical line and so I can go through the same sort of thing. Another vertical line, let's do zero. So right now I've got my, I don't know if it's up or down, so I'm just gonna do up. So I just put it here and I pressed return to, to do that. And then I'm gonna go to that position. I'm gonna say pen down, and then I'm gonna drive forward. So again, that looks good. And so what I can do is I can actually name this procedure. I can say two vertical, ver Oops. two vertical and then let's just call this two for now so I know that I wanted to have the pen up first just to make sure or it should be up anyway um, I'm gonna set the position I'm gonna go pen down then I'm gonna move forward Then I'm going to go pen up again. And then I can end. There we go. So now what I can do is my frame, instead of having this one here, this sort of, this section here from 7 to 10 is the first vertical line. And then this one is called vertical 2. I can actually write in here, vertical to and it will then draw that so let's go ahead and go CG so let's clear all of our graphics and let's see what happens if I go frame let's see what mistakes I made okay so number one is I don't have a pen up at the very beginning I think that's what I need to do the very beginning of my frame I don't have that so But it, those other two sections look quite nice. We can see that uh, this and this got a nice vertical line, and this one and this one have a nice vertical line as well. So that's great. I'm excited about this. And then, so I can go ahead and make my 
third vertical line here as well. And then, so let's go ahead and do that. So again, coders like to be um, very efficient in when they do things. And so I'm gonna just go ahead and I'm gonna just change a few things here and we can go ahead and run this. So what I've done is I've just taken my vertical two and copied and pasted as vertical three. And then the only thing I needed to change was the three here and the 190, which is gonna be my location around here to make that third vertical line. So I'm gonna take vertical three, put that right here. So now I've got a procedure that calls an two other procedures or what we can call as sub procedures. So let's go ahead and clear the graphics and go frame. Ta-da! Wow, that looks very nice. I enjoy this a lot. So now the last thing that we're gonna do is we're going to uh, just draw a nice little horizontal line here so that we can sort of title each one of our sections for our different uh, blocks that we have. And so we're gonna need to have a vertical line, uh, a horizontal line. So I'm gonna essentially take the same sort of thing that we did here and we're going to go ahead and we have, um, we're going to put it on in this area right here. So we need to have our minus 380. And we'll put it up here ish, not at, all the way at the top. So the top is, is about, well, if I remember my, if I do my math correctly, this was 120. Um, again, that's the Y position is 120 and we go up 310. So this is um, about two something or, or so. So I'm gonna go below that, um, let's say about 150 or so. We're gonna go, yeah, put our pen down, but, in, but we don't wanna go forward 300 yet. We wanna actually turn. So we're gonna turn right because right now this, the, the turtle is always facing up. And so we need to be facing to the right. So we're gonna turn right 90. We're gonna move the same distance across. So that's the 360 that we have there. And then just to, to keep it nice and clean, we're then gonna turn left 90 back. And then we're gonna do the pen up. So this one's not called vert, uh, vertical, it's called horizontal. Oops, horizontal. And so let's go ahead. Now what we could do just to test it out by itself is we could just run it, makes it look good. And we see that the turtle is still facing that direction. So now we can go ahead and put horizontal at the bottom of this. And so there we go. So if I clear graphics and do my frame again, it should do everything. Awesome. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this. We wanna make sure that we save everything um, as we go throughout this. And now we can do our some of our shapes um, or we can go ahead and label. So it's up to you which one you wanna do first. I'm gonna go ahead and label them um, just the first couple. Um, and that way we, we get an idea of what we're, what we're doing here. So I just click on the plus here and text. So the text right now is whatever uh, text I want. So I'm going to do a very simple square. So I can go ahead and I can well, spell it correctly. So we've got square. And if I right click on it, the text right now is text one, but I don't want to show the name because itself is the label. Um, sometimes you you might use this for um, oh, but you need to have the you need to have the label there so that you can pick it up and drag it. I forgot that. So now that I've moved it in here, I'm just going to right click it and make it um, not show the label. And if I wanted to, I can click frozen, and that will um, it won't move anymore. No, I can't move it because I can't click and drag it, but that's okay. Now, if I wanted to explore with some of the other options here, um, I can change, actually, I'm gonna just do that, show you some of the options. 
Uh, I can make it bold. I can make it a bigger font or a smaller font. Um, it's it's really up to you on on what uh, sort of information you want in there. But bold square I think is a good one for now, um, and that'll fit relatively nicely inside um, the section that I'm doing there. So I'm going to start off with uh, a square. And maybe the next one here I can do is a triangle. So again, we'll do bold and then large. Make it a little smaller. Great. Nicely aligned there. And we'll stop showing the name. Great. So I'm going to go ahead and draw a square and draw a triangle in here. So a square, it has, I'm going to get rid of some of these things. So I can, I can, I can clear the graphics, I can draw that frame there. That looks good. It doesn't get rid of our, uh, our text um, that we've explored in there. So now I'm going to go ahead and I can do my square. So my square I know is in this area somewhere and so I know that this point right here is minus 380 120 so I want to go a little bit in and a little bit up from there so maybe I can do a set um, pause maybe minus 340 and up would be oh, like 100 uh, minus 100 not far enough up. So what's less than 100? 50? Could be good. If I wanted it any higher, I can, you know, 40, let's say 40. Doesn't really matter. This is up to you. You can have it anywhere in there. Uh, it's depending on how large or small of a box you want. That's uh, or square. You can create your own. So now I'm going to do a pen down. And then I'm going to draw it. Well, we can use the same sort of um, technique that we use for our rectangle, except instead of repeating twice, we can repeat it four times. So we're going to have a forward, and maybe let's start with 50 uh, or 60. And then we're going to turn right 90. And then let's try it out. We'll see what happens. So I'm going to do my pen down. And there we are. So that's not big enough. I want it a little bit bigger, let's say. So this is my, I'm, I'm just testing things out right now. So that seems good. I can go a little bit bigger maybe. Yeah. So now if I do clear graphics, do my frame, then this, 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 We'll do my square. So I know that these are my three lines that are very important for my square. So I can go ahead and create a procedure for a square. And I'm going to put those three lines into it. And then after, at the end of every procedure, we always have a pen up. And then we are going to end it. So just tab all these over to make it nice and clean for you to, for everyone to see when they're when they're looking at it and then so there we are so there's our square we can do the same sort of thing so now that we've sort of got a, a rough idea we can go ahead and do the triangle with a similar technique so we know that this line here was about 190 that was our first vertical line so that was 190 so if we go a little bit less than 190 we're looking at something like 150 um, and we're going to stay at 140 uh, at net minus 40 so they're sort of like lined up and we're going to go repeat three times our forward i don't know if 120 is too much or too little but let's let's just do that let's leave it at that and then we're going to go with one uh how many degrees do we want to turn 
And so we know our internal angle on a triangle is 60 degrees. But when we're dealing with our, um, our turtle, we actually want our turtle to um, do the exterior, ang exterior angle on this one. So we're going to go ahead with 120. And so you'll see in a second what that will do. So I'm going to write in triangle. Now you got to be careful. You got to write it, uh, type it exactly the same. So if I just do triangle, boom, there it is with the mistakes. So one mistake is I didn't do my pen up because I didn't run my square. Whoops. And number two, well, this is up to you now. Do you care if the triangle is equilateral in this way, or do you want it to be where the flat line is along here? I want the flat line to be along here just because I'm particular like that. And so what I'm actually going to do here is I'm going to rotate a little bit. And I think that I want to rotate 30 degrees, but I'm actually not sure. So let's go ahead and clear everything. I'm going to make my frame and I'm going to make my triangle. Ha! It was right. It was 30. So I just needed to go a little bit and then we are perfect for this because I guess, yeah, so we were facing up and we go 30 because the internal angle is 60. That's what it was. I knew it was some something like 60 or 30 that I wanted to go. One of those magic numbers, right? So there we are. So I know that that's good. Um, but now my turtle is facing sort of the wrong way or in sort of our, our not our standard direction. So I'm just going to turn left 30 to help my help me sit perfectly. Oh, I got to do left 30 before uh, left. And now I've done it twice. Um, so now I'm all messed up. So I got to go left 30. And that should be good. If I run the triangle. Yeah, I think it's on top of this one here. So we're good. All right. So that's that. And in fact, I'm, I'll leave these two blank for you to explore. Um, you know, you can do a uh, anything that you would want to. Yeah, we're good there. And then if I go ahead and do the square, that looks great. So, but instead of typing these over and over again, what I could do is maybe put a button right here that will I can push and it will make the square. So let's do that now after I save it. So I'm going to go plus button. So these buttons are just, right now they do nothing. So I'm just going to right click on it. And I can change the label. So I can change what's on there. And on click is what procedure do I want it to execute? So right now we're going to get it to do the square procedure. And I can go ahead and do another one, another button. And I can have it do the triangle procedure. So I'm going to name it triangle and this one will do the triangle. So sort of line it up there. And the other thing too actually now that I'm thinking about it let's do the same thing for the frame. So I don't have to uh, keep typing this stuff out. So I'm going to have this one maybe over here as sort of a, a starting position or starting opportunity. So we're going to type frame or border or, or whatever you want to call it. And so I can go ahead and click that. The other option too is maybe I could have instead of a, having to type CG all the time, I could have like a reset um, one as well. And so let's go ahead and do that. So a clear or a reset, um, something to, to help get us started. So, and reset's always an important one. Now, oh, I don't have a procedure yet. So I need to go and make a new procedure. So I'm going to go up here. And so we've, I just clicked new. And so here, this already has, has something. So button four click, this is where you could do something. And so in here, we're going to use clear graphics. That's it. And actually I can go ahead and I can change this if I wanted to, to remind myself that this is the reset procedure. 
So when I go to reset, I can put that right there. I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to need to change this on click. I'm going to need to go change it to reset so that it will reference the correct procedure. All right. So, uh oh, did I just lose those buttons? I think so. All right, sorry about that. So I just quickly uh, recreated those four buttons that I had. Um, I think, it, yeah, I must have uh, accidentally hit the refresh or something. So we got a reset, we've got frame, we've got square, and we got triangle. So again, I encourage you to check out do your own um, options here uh, for other shapes. So for example, you could do a circle, you could do a rectangle, anything you want. So the last two things that I wanted to show you is right now these are just blue shapes sitting on blue backgrounds. A little bit boring. And so what I want to do is I want to show you how we can change the color of our um, turtle and then fill in our particular um, shape that we wanted to fill in. And so what we can do is set C or set color and then just like I mentioned before about the color of the background, we can also deal with the color of the turtle. And so here I've set the color of the turtle to be red. And so I can just take this and I can sort of drop it into somewhere. And then I can just write fill. And it will fill in based on those borders. And now what I can do is I can sort of turn it, if I wanted to turn it back into uh, its original color. I can go back into black and then I can do some draw more drawing if I wanted to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a button that I can use to fill in these two and maybe I'll pick uh, red and yellow or something like that. So I've already got red and so I can say to red and so these three lines are essentially what I want, right? So I'm going to set color to red, I'm going to fill it in, and then set the color back to black uh, in case I wanted to do some more drawing or something like that. And so now I've got my red, and let's do this again. But on this case, we're going to use yellow. I know that yellow is already in there. And so let's go ahead and create some color buttons. So here we're going to say red and I can go to red and then maybe the color buttons can be sort of here. The last button here is going to be yellow and yellow. There we go. So now I can say actually I want my square to be yellow. I just click this and I drag and drop this into the triangle and there I make a red triangle. And so, you know, there's there's green and orange and purple and other colors like that. So I would again I invite you to to explore and, and add in some different colors that um, you would like. And then the last thing, uh, if you really would like to, to challenge yourself, is to shifting these over a little bit. Right now, we only have spaces for, for four. Um, but what about uh, you could add in a fifth shape, you know, a hexagon, an octagon, a circle, a rectangle. All, of some, all these are, are great opportunities, fun opportunities to explore with, with creating and coloring. So again, I want to thank you for watching, for listening. Uh, if you need any support, please reach out. Um, if not, uh, happy coding. Bye for now.